think I like the wonky thing. Right, let's move all this out the way. So it's Monday evening and I'm going to change my Mondays um, and I'm going to start doing a Wednesday morning. So we will be doing in future, and I'll put this at the top of my um, Facebook page, we will be doing, Facebook Lives will be um, Tuesday evening, Wednesday morning, um, Thursday evening, and Saturday evening. Okay, so that gives me Monday and Friday off. All right, um, and I'll be doing those. So that's my Facebook Lives, okay? So I will change the bit at the top of the Facebook page. Right, so this is tonight's card. Um, so I've, I'm pre-recording this, as you can see, and you'll then be able to, um, it, the post is going to go live at seven o'clock, and I hope this is going to work, but it'll be on YouTube as well, because I'll have uploaded it. So um, we are using, we're concentrating on a suite of paper, actually. It's a suite of paper a lot of people have said they really like this week. And I know last week was cut fairly short on the polar bears. So we will go back and do a bit more on the polar bears. But this week, I am focusing on the Harvest Meadow suite of papers. And these are the two cards that we did today, okay, in Coffee and Cards. So we did this one. And I've cased these cards from um, an American demonstrator, uh, her surname is Lun, okay? So those are my um, cards, coffee and card today. And I've combined those with the beautiful, if I can find it, it's not Harvest Meadow, it's um, the Blackberry, where are they? The Blackberry, um, sweets that we all really liked there you go so i've used those um stamps and i've combined them with those papers okay so that was my coffee and cards today so i wanted to focus on using the paper so i'm using the paper here and i'm using the stamp set that was out last year and is still in the catalogue love of leaves and i'm using the matching dies okay so um, it's a basic A4 piece of cardstock cut in half at 10 and a half centimetres or four and one eighth and scored at 14.9 or five and seven eighths to create a tenth fold. OK, like so. I've got a piece of very vanilla cardstock that is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And I'm just literally going to glue this inside. OK, so the reason for changing my Monday nights is that prior to COVID and the first lockdown, there was a group of us who used to get together on a Monday night and just craft. And um, I want to be able to make room for that. So um, whilst I'm in the process of planning that, I want to start moving other bits and pieces around so it's all in the right place. Right, this is a piece of the designer series paper that goes underneath this. It's quite pretty, isn't it? I might do that side this time, actually and alternate it yeah i'm going to change the side up so this is my piece of designer series paper it's three and seven eighths by five and five eighths i've got my early espresso dauber and i am just using the ink that's left on it to just do the edge okay so i'm still going to be doing four facebook lives a week you're still going to get the same amount of content it's just going to be one of them's going to be in the morning which perhaps might be better for some of you you might all be bored of seeing me in the evening and as the winter's drawing in it might be quite nice to be able to see me in the morning right so there we go that's that one who knows i might change my saturday to a morning as well actually right so that's that so um i've got two pieces of very vanilla OK, they are three quarters of an inch wide by three and seven eighths. Now, what I'm going to do is just pop them together like that. And I've got the sentiment from this that says your friendship is something I know I can count on. And I've got my early espresso ink. OK, 
okay like that and I'm just going to randomly stamp to create my own kind of DSP I suppose just fill that edge in a bit there and there let's get a bit in that one there right oh I might have a bit coming in that one there look okay right I'm happy with that right I'm going to use that again so I'm going to stamp my sentiment at the same time so there's my I must have ink everywhere I have, I've got it on my finger. I'm going to get a new piece of fairy vanilla. Now I might do the same actually. Right, I'm going to stamp my sentiment at the same time. Look, oh, look at that as well. I've got a dimensional bit stuck underneath. You can all be laughing here if you like. Now I've got even more ink on me. This must be a very juicy ink pad. Right, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to add my sentiment going to try and make it square okay well that's quite good right now I'm going to take some of this off my dauber like that and I'm just going to make that quite oh look at that I cut like that that's quite mottled actually and I'm going to go round the edge Okay. Right, so that's so that's that. Now we're going to do the same. We're going to take some ink off. And I just want to give this this mottled effect, okay? So if you haven't got the right colour designer series paper or pretty paper and you've got some words that you quite like the font of, this is a really good way to make your own patterned paper. Right, I'm just going to go around the edge. I think I need a new dauber. So I will sort that out in a minute. I'm gonna get like so I'm going all around those edges, so I've got no white edges. And I am going to stick these bits. I might do same on the same, actually. Yeah, I'm going to do same on same. So I'm going to do one bit for the front. And this is a half inch strip by three and seven eighths. And the other bit is a three quarter inch strip by three and seven eighths. OK, so you're not really going to see much of your words, but it is just going to give that effect okay so that's going to go to there that's going to go to there look at that right so to save some time I have pre-stamped and die cut all these leaves in different colours so I've got mint macaron bumblebee Cajun Cray, Cinnamon Cider and Mossy Meadow. Now the dies for these leaves are the stitched leaves. They're very pretty. So these are the stamps are all out. So if I show you the stamps, look. So I've got all the stamps. They all need cleaning. Okay, this one I must have used for lots of pink or something. So those are all my stamps. And then they go with all of these dies. Now... These dies all are a two-part die and mine are stuck with tape. So you've got your outside stitched bit and then you've got the bit that embosses the centre on each one. I don't know if you can see that really well. So they're really cool, lovely leaves, okay? So you can see. And I've just got mine stuck together with some purple tape, all right? And they tend to stay stuck together. Okay, so that's that. So I'm going to pop my leaves to one side. I need my dimensionals. Okay, so I can then start to build this card up because I've kind of got all my bits now. Okay, 
right i want some dimensionals on the back of here okay so those ones are going on there like that okay then i'm going to use my glue and i'm going to glue my leaves in like like that okay like that Now remember, I've got odd and a more odd amount of leaves because you should either have three or five. Okay, I'm just going to tuck that one there. Oh, I'm liking this, right, and this one. Okay, and that's going to go into there like that one. Okay, I hope this is still recording. Right now, I want to bring this bit across. But before I put that in, I want to make sure that that is going to be able to, I'm going to pop it up onto dimensionals, slide under that bit, and it's going to be over the middle. Right, so I know it's going to just go just along the bottom of there. So I'm going to add my glue. And I'm going to add that into the bottom. Like that, okay. Right, then I'm going to grab my dimensionals. I'm using up my the edges of my dimensionals. I'm never happier than when I can do that. So I've got one there and one there. Okay. And I'm just going to slide that so that it's under the leaf. help if it's a bit straight won't it like that all right so that's the front oh, I like this more than that one then I'm going to open that up and then this bit is going to go just in the bottom here to tie the front to the ends. I've just stuck that upside down. Look at that, should we turn it round? The front to the inside, okay? So that is my card for this evening. I will see you tomorrow on Crafting Together with All Brands. We'll be using this paper and we'll be doing another project. So that's really exciting. Okay, so I'm going to turn the video off so I can upload it and it will be on my Crunch Crafts channel at seven o'clock. I'll speak to you later, guys. Bye.